Michael, good morning, and uh, welcome to EHR TV. Good morning. We have the pleasure today of meeting with Michael Tranchina, an expert in the Economic Recovery Act of 2009. And Michael, I understand out of the $787 billion that was signed into law on February 17th of this year, that there is approximately $19 billion that is specifically allocated for the enhancement of health information technology in, in the United States. Can you explain how that's differentiated? Sure, Doctor. Uh, the $19 billion is going to be broken up to a two parts. There's a $2 billion segment that goes for the Office of the Coordinator to implement this program. The $17.2 billion is in place to offset the cost to incentivize physicians to implement certified electronic health records. Now, and and how, how will that 17 or $17.2 billion be provided to physicians? How, how is the process going to happen? Well, there's two programs. One's under Medicare and one's under Medicaid. And the Medicaid program, the maximum reimbursement is $65,000. It starts with $25,000 and then it goes 10, 10, 10, and 10. Physicians who are under that program need to have at least 30% of their uh, patient care in that program uh, under Medicaid. Now, for Medicare, the maximum amount is $44,000, and for those physicians who implement their EHRs either in 2011 or 2012, get an extra bonus of $3,000 each year. So it would go $18,000 if you implement your EHR in either 2011 or 2012, and then it goes to $12,000, then to $8,000, then $4,000, then $2,000, and that's the payment schedule. And so that does total $44,000, and I understand if you don't implement what is known as a certified EHR, and I understand we don't know exactly what certified means, if it's CCHIT or otherwise, but if you implement a certified EHR and you use it in what is being called a meaningful fashion in 2011 or 2012, you can get that whole $44,000, and that's a, a great that's piece of correct. information. Mm -hmm. And what happens if you don't implement it by 2012? Let's suppose you implement it in 2013, for instance. Well, there's still incentive. It just, instead of getting the 18000 your first year, you'll only have $15,000, and then it'll go from tw the 15 to twelve to eight to four and then two. And so, so you get 41000 instead of 44000 but you still have an incentive to implement it. That's correct. Now, in the bill, they frequently say, as I understand, that you need to use an EHR in a meaningful fashion. Do you have some insight that you can provide as to what meaningful use of an EHR is? Well, there's, there's uh, a few criteria that are very important. Again, we're waiting for the details. One is that patient demographics have to be collected by that EHR. The other very important thing is that this EHR must be able to send data out and receive data from the network and that interconnectivity is really what the government is after for the EHR. And I hear people saying, well, we can send a fax electronically and we can get a fax in, and I think we're all going to have to wait to determine whether or not that type of really rather minimal interconnectivity functionality is going to be acceptable. That's right. I, I think the real key is to have that volume of data in, in a complete electronic health record have that be accessible to other physicians who are treating that patient. And that interconnectivity should reduce costs and improve the overall patient care. And that's what the government is after. Well, Michael, it's been a pleasure uh, chatting with you today. And I, I thank you for joining us at EHR TV. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you for watching EHR TV today. I hope that you've learned at least a little bit about the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009. Stay tuned as we will be discussing more and more information about this important federal legislation. Thank you.